the Australian island paradise that was taken over by a secret gathering of Scientologists. When an ACA viewer tipped us off about it, we were keen to find out more, but getting our way in was quite a mission. It's the secret Scientology conference where outsiders are clearly not welcome. But it's our intention at the moment to turn you around at the airport on your arrival if you do decide to come. An international religion deciding just who can and who can't set foot on Australian soil. Well, we've got security guards over there. Uh, we've been told the police will be called if we go any further. So we're about to get kicked off Hamilton Island. And it's all because the Church of Scientology doesn't want us here. Unbelievable. Our plane is just about to take off to Hamilton Island and we have accommodation booked on the island as well. However, we've just received an email uh, from the PR department of Hamilton Island telling us in no uncertain terms that we should not be coming to the island and that we can be turned away from the island when we land. Good morning, Ben. Please see the letter below from Wise Asia Pacific, which I have received overnight. As Hamilton Island's responsibility is to our clients, we will be supporting this request. The Scientologists had strict orders. We request you deny access to the island to the Channel 9 media personnel, reporter, cameraman and assistant. The email was only the start of a campaign to keep us away. Next came a text message. Please be aware we may ask you to leave the island on landing. That was followed by a voicemail from the chief executive of Hamilton Island. Just wanted to quickly get a message to you before you hopped on the plane to come to Hamilton Island. Now, I'm not sure whether you're aware, but Hamilton Island is a private island and it's for invited guests only. I'm happy for you to come as a holiday if that's your intention, but I don't believe that's the case. Let me recap so you know exactly how we came to be here. It started when an ACA viewer sent me a copy of the registration booklet for the Success Summit on Hamilton Island. It's got no mention of Scientology, but there is one page dedicated to L. Ron Hubbard, the creator of Scientology. So what we did was book three spots at the conference, and there were no tricks or no games. We were very upfront. We told them our names and we told them we were working for Channel 9. And then we telephoned to confirm our booking. And yes, we were told we were coming to the conference. It was only when we then asked for that confirmation in writing that we received a phone call back telling us we were no longer welcome. Now this is interesting considering the thoughts and theories of L. Ron Hubbard himself. It says here in the book, instead of arguing with others, get them to look. The most flagrant lies can be punctured. The greatest pretenses can be exposed simply by gently insisting that someone look. Well, that's what we're hoping to do right now on Hamilton Island. It's fair to say we'd been well warned about what was going to happen next, but we wanted to see for ourselves if the Scientologists were really calling the shots, deciding who's allowed on the island. There's a sign for us on the right. Ben Fordham, Drew Benjamin, Charles Davey. Hello. Three representatives of Hamilton Island were waiting for us, including security. And we were directed straight into a side room and each handed a letter. Dear sir, private property, notice to vacate Hamilton Island. Notice to vacate Hamilton Island. We understand that you are here for the purpose of commercial activity and investigative reporting. We hereby deny you access to Hamilton Island and request you depart voluntarily on the next flight or ferry. We are fee-paying guests on the island, return visitors. I've been here before, filmed on the island without permission for commercial purposes. But this time is different because of who your guests are and because they don't want us here. We made it clear to the staff from Hamilton Island we understood their position. They were just doing their job, and for the record, they did it well. There was no point in shooting the messenger. The boys have brought the board shorts and everything. The staff politely took us to the check-in counter and helped us book a flight home. They even offered to buy us lunch. The only part of beautiful Hamilton Island we got to see was the airport. And it's all because the Church of Scientology doesn't want us here. Unbelievable. This does go in a completely different stratosphere of concern. The fact that an Australian citizen 
was denied access to uh, an Australian island is just extraordinary. This is a two-faced organisation. Independent There's Senator no Nick Xenophon. What we are seeing is a worldwide pattern of abuse and criminality. Is a vocal critic of Scientology. These victims of Scientology claim it is an abusive, manipulative, violent and criminal organisation. Have you ever noticed that some people seem to be more alive than others? Our trip to Hamilton Island may have been dramatically cut short, but this video from the Success Summit website gives us a sense of what we missed out on. Have you ever noticed that some people seem to be more conscious or more aware than other people? Maybe we'll get to see it for ourselves next time. Well, this is an organisation that is incredibly paranoid. This is an organisation that seeks to destroy its critics. This is an organisation that seeks to shut down any debate. And that's why it's important that it be exposed and out in the open, because too many lives have been damaged by Scientology, and it's time that stopped. Senator Nick Xenophon there, and we should repeat uh, our thanks to the staff at Hamilton Island for the way they handled that.